In the bakery algorithm, each process invents it, basically picks its own number based on numbers that other processors have. And it's possible for numbers to grow without bound if uh, uh, processors keep trying to enter the critical section. And so I realized that the algorithm required multiple registers to store a number because you could run out of, uh, uh, you could overflow a single register, uh, a 32-bit register, for example, in a fairly short time. You'd like to prove that the numbers, although not bounded, uh, had some practical bound, for example, that the number would never be greater than the total number of times that somebody has been in its critical section. Uh, and it was not trivial to uh, implement that. And so uh, the paper I uh, wrote, uh, I think called On Concurrent Reading and Writing, uh, gave algorithms uh, for solving that problem. A nice statement of, of, one, of, the of one of the problems solved in the uh, algorithm was suppose you have a clock in your computer and the clock will count cyclically, you know, say for instance one day or so, it might, uh, you know, cycle from zero to 24 hours and then back to zero. Um, but how do you accomplish that if, you, if your clock had to be multiple registers? It was the uh, bakery algorithm that uh, led to me to look at that class of algorithms. There's, there are two classes of registers that are weaker than an atomic register. An atomic register is what you simply think of as you know, reading and writing happening as, as if they were instantaneous. Uh, one is called safe and the other is called regular. And the paper on concurrent reading and writing, it's, it's safe registers uh, are automatically reg regular, not automatically atomic. Uh, and uh, safe registers are trivial, trivial to build. Uh, basically, any way you might think of building a register would pretty much have to be out of multiple pieces. It would wind up having to be safe. Safe just means you, you get the right answer if you read it while nobody is writing it. Uh, so I consider the problem of implementing, uh, well, first, regular registers using safe registers, and then atomic registers using regular registers. Well, I was able to solve the first problem, uh, uh, not optimally, but at least solving it. Uh, and I believe that Gary Peterson later uh, published a more efficient algorithm for doing that. And for going from uh, regular registers to atomic registers, I was only able to solve it for two processors. Uh, that is, uh, a, a writer and a single reader. Uh, I proved the interesting result that you couldn't do it unless both processors were writing into something. And I gave a couple, a couple of talks about it, but um, nobody seemed interested in it. Hmm. So I put it away. And I thought I had solved the, uh, the problem of, of atomic registers. And then sometime much later, I think, it, yeah, it was around 84, I decided you know, to write it up and uh, publish it. So I sat down and, and came up with an algorithm. And Fortunately, Fred Schneider was uh, the editor of that paper, and he went through the paper and he came to the proof of correctness of the atomicity paper, and uh, he, uh, he couldn't follow it. I realized the algorithm was incorrect, so I went back to the drawing board, and fortunately there was a, an easy fix to the algorithm, and I wrote a much more careful proof, uh, and that's what... Uh, Finally, I, you know, it got published. But you know, Fred saved me from what would have been the only, I think, really serious uh, error in uh, uh, in anything I've published. Although it was an interesting error that was actually in the footnote in the bakery algorithm, 
what I basically wrote in, uh, without using the terminology, but in footnote said that uh, basically a single bit was automatically atomic. And I discovered when I started thinking about atomic registers that that was wrong. It was not non-trivial even to get a single atomic bit. The obvious is sometimes uh, <laughs> not so obvious. Well, uh, never believe that anything is obvious until you write a proof of it. <laughs> <laughs>